Properties of Angles Worksheet 22, questions 40 through 55. I'm going to be doing questions 40 through 47 completely with you. I'm going to do the entire thing, show all the work, everything that you would need. And then you're going to use that as a reference on how to complete questions 48 through 55. You may also use um, example 4 in the notes if you need to. Okay, to do these problems, we are looking for three things. The three things we are looking for are vertical angles because vertical angles are congruent. We're going to look for linear pairs because linear pairs are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. And we're going to look for a triangle sum because the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so right here is my given angle. So I have to start with that. Let's start with the easiest thing to do is and that's finding a vertical angle. The given angle and angle 8 are vertical angles. All right, vertical angles are congruent. So if the given angle is 140 degrees, then angle 8 is 140 degrees. Now we're going to find angle 1. Angle 1 and the given angle are a linear pair. They are a linear pair. So we, linear pairs are supplementary. I'm going to use 180 minus the given angle, which is 140. And that's how I will find angle 1, which is 40 degrees. Angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So if angle 1 is 40 degrees, then angle 2 is also 40 degrees. Okay, pause your video, get all that written down. Okay, next let's talk about angle seven. When two lines intersect and one of the angles is 90 degrees, then all of the angles are 90 degrees because they are perpendicular lines. So angle seven is 90 degrees. You know, these are also vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. So if one angle is 90, then they all four would be 90 degrees there. Okay. Let's go to the triangle. The green shaded region is a triangle, but it's a special type of triangle. It's a right triangle. It has a right angle. So I told you when you, we were doing the notes that if you have a right triangle, uh, the interior angles add up to 180. Well, if this is 90 degrees, 180 minus 90 is 90. So that means these two angles right here have to add up to 90 degrees. And two angles that add up to 90 degrees are complementary. So... Angle 2 and angle 3 are complementary angles, which means they add up to 90 degrees. So to find angle 3, I'm going to take 90 minus 40. And 90 minus 40 is 50. So the measure of angle 3 is 50 degrees. Well, if angle 3 is 50 degrees and 3 or fi and 5 are vertical angles, vertical angles are congruent, that means if angle 3 is 50 degrees, then angle 5 is also 50 degrees. Okay, the only two angles left to find are 4 and 6. Well, 4 and 5 are a linear pair. 6 and 5 are a linear pair. 3 and 6 are a linear pair, so I could use any one of those to find angles 6 and 4. So let's use the fact that 6 and 5 are a linear pair. Linear pair means they're supplementary. Supplementary means they add up to 180. Okay, so I'm going to take 180 minus 50, and that gives me the measure of angle 6, which is 130 degrees. And because angle 6 and 4 are vertical angles, vertical angles are congruent. If angle 6 is 130 degrees, then angle 4 is 130 degrees. Okay, pause your video. Make sure you have everything I have written down. Make sure you have all the angle measurements written down. Make sure you have the three different subtractions. That's the part that I have highlighted. Make sure you have it all written down.
Okay, now that we've completed the figure, now we can actually find the answers or state the answers. So the measure of angle one is 40 degrees. The measure of angle two is 40 degrees. The measure of angle three is 50 degrees. The measure of angle four is 130 degrees. You can pause your video at the end to get this all down. The measure of angle five is 50 degrees. The measure of angle six is 130 degrees. Seven is 90 degrees. And the measure of angle eight is 140 degrees. If you have any questions on 40 through 47, please do not hesitate to ask. Pause your video now, get that all written down. Please remember to uh, don't forget that degree sign. The degree sign is extremely important. You'll get points off if you don't have 40 degrees. All right, now you're gonna use 40 through 47 to help you complete 48 through 55 on your own. And again, you could also use example four of the notes.